So what I want to talk about is the way how the Code 61 was designed to work with Celebration Essentials 3.0 and as well as how to assign faders in case you get the template and for any reason your Code 61 has a glitch to where nothing's assigned. So we're going to reassign stuff uh, so you can do it yourself in case this happens. First thing I am going to show you is uh, functionality of this here. So as you can see, this is the master volume for the concert. And that's going to be on the white right here. And then there's four faders. If you look at the screen, the mouse is moving uh, around the four faders uh, to the left. And then we have a middle section of knobs. And then there's another four faders. So this faders here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first half should be able to control the first section and then the other half will control the next section now if you see the section here there's three knobs so on the code 61 this first three knobs up here one two three the first one's going to be for the shimmers and you can see when i'm moving it uh, i should move the fader in the screen the shimmers the next one is the cutoff knob and the third one it's the pulse so that's what those are for there's two buttons here if i press them with my mouse you're going to see them activate they turn yellow and then they deactivate now this one the first one it's the drum pad so as you can see when i hit the drum pad it activates the one eight dotted and then the one fourth is the next one on the drum pad so number 13 drum pad number 13 one eight dotted number 14 it's one fourth quarter note delay as we move down here to the playback this section here is going to be assigned to this section of your code 61 so where we have the rewind uh, fast forward stop play and then record button all black buttons right here so the stop is, is the one that says fade out you can see it activate when i click on it and then there's two buttons here so play and then like record so the play button is going to be the first loop to the left this one at the bottom so if I press on that one it activates that loop I press it again it stops if I press the stop button it fades out so that's what it does now the record button button is going to be for the loop on the right the second one right here so check it out now it sounds like that because the modifier is on so both of these here left and right it's reverb is to the left and then the modifier is to the right so if we deactivate those the loop sounds normal and if you want to fade it out press the stop and it fades out the loop so this section it's going to be for the loop playback we go back up here now this this knob actually uh it's gonna control the shimmers so the, on the drone tools this is the overall volume for for the shimmer pads for those drones i'll talk about this one in a minute now for this piano section this first knob on this side controls the volume for that particular part now for the synth pad section this knob over here controls the volume for that section now once we go to the arp section the third knob controls the volume for the arps and then the last one down controls the volume for the arp bass so for the arpeggiated bass now keep in mind there is a lot of buttons there's a lot of things uh, that you can do within this template and not everything is assigned to the co 61 just the main parts um, if you want it to assign everything else then we have a template uh, that's already pre-assigned everything's assigned to the Korg Nano Control 2 so this would be a great uh, piece of uh, MIDI controller to get uh, to incorporate with Celebration Essentials 3.0 and it's already pre-assigned there's already tutorials on how to uh, download our template um, to the editor 
app so it can be synchronized to this template and then it'll be easy for you to play everything now let's talk about the drum tools so the rest of these drum pads are available for you to assign anything you want what I want to do is I'm going to assign these drone tools to these pads that way uh, you can utilize them for this section here because this comes pretty handy uh, during worship transitioning from song to song or just to keep that ambience going uh, through a song while you're playing keys uh, this this is great for that so before we go into this pad number 15 goes up on the patches and pad number 16 goes down so patch down is 16 you can see on the screen where it's moving down on the patches and then if you want to go back up you're gonna do 15 to go up now but this is you can assign this uh, as you want so you can make it your own and just reconfigure it to work with uh, your style of worship for your church environment well let's go back to the drone tools so let's go, we're gonna go into the layout window and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and assign these here there's 12 buttons that can be assigned you have 12 different drone tools that you can assign you can do them all or depending on what what keys you usually play at church you can just go ahead and assign those and use the other ones uh, to assign different things uh, that you can utilize right so that's what I mean by that if your church usually plays in C D F G and maybe uh, G flat then you can assign those here and have some extra buttons to do other stuff so you don't have to do it all right you can just assign whatever you want and to be able to do that you will have to select first one of these right so let's say let's say I want number four right here on my drum pad to control the on and off button right to this would activate and deactivate we'll turn it up we'll, we'll turn them on and off so then I will go here to the on select the sign and then I'm gonna say I'm gonna hit on this one right and then I de assign and when I press it you can see it moving so if we go to the edit window you can see when I pressed it it stayed on so now they're engaged so if I press one of these it's gonna stay on right and uh, if I press that number four again it turns them off so that that is something you really want there so be sure to assign the on and off button now we're just gonna do this two rows and I'm just gonna go ahead and do I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do C so assign and I select the C and I'm gonna do the number five here and then I'm gonna do D the next one down I'm gonna go to E and then F G a B and once you're done you're gonna say assign again to remove the red and now you should be ready to go so now you go to edit and you have your just just the piano patch that I have this one's from the piano slash pad so now let's say I'm, I'm in the key of C I'm gonna activate my drones and I play the C one so now I can play it and then if I want to turn it off there it is as easy as that you can assign uh, things left and right so now that should be the end of the tutorial but let's say for for any reason you open this template and none of these nothing from what you see here is assigned then all you have to do is go to layout and let's say this is your 
uh, master, right? If it's not assigned, you're gonna come here, click on the on the fader. So just click assign. It'll be the same thing. So you're just gonna click the fader. As soon as you see it moving, interacting uh, your MIDI controller with the screen, then you know it's 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 assigned. Now, don't select another one and move it because then it's gonna assign both of those or it's, it's gonna mess up your your stuff so be careful if you if you select one don't touch anything else until you go to the next one so go to your next fader make sure you highlight the right fader and then start doing this the same process goes with the knobs select the knob on your MIDI controller or on your keyboard uh, start moving the knob once you see it moving it's assigned select the next one go ahead and do it again select the next one and keep doing this process until you're done assigning everything then deselect this button here go to your edit window and everything should be assigned a lot of times you will open the concert and nothing will sound um, you click on your keyboard and nothing happens here then you'll have to assign your keyboard as well so come into the layout window click on the keyboard and then select the sign start playing the keyboard you're gonna see it moving on the screen deselect that assign button and you should be good to go there all right i hope you guys like this basic mapping uh, tutorial for celebration essentials 3.0 and y'all have a great day